I thank the gentleman. Mr. Speaker, I rise in opposition to this extension of the expiring provisions of the Patriot Act and of the Intelligence Reform of Terrorism Pre Prevention Act. I cannot support this extension when the House has done nothing to consider these provisions or possible reforms or even to hold a hearing or a markup. Well, in the past, members have had the opportunity to receive classified briefings. We have dozens of new members who have received no such briefings. Section 215 authorizes the government to obtain any tangible thing relevant to a terrorism investigation, even if there is no showing that the thing pertains to suspected terrorists or terrorist activities. It is sweeping in its scope, and the government is not required to show reasonable suspicion or probable cause before undertaking an investigation that infringes upon a person's privacy, including the records of what he's read in the library. Congress should either ensure that things collected with this power have a meaningful nexus to suspected terrorist activity or allow the provision to expire. Section 206 provides for roving wiretaps, which permit the government to obtain intelligence surveillance orders that identify neither the person nor the facility to be tapped. This is supposedly to update the law to deal with portable cell phones and the like and other modern technology, but it goes too far. Without the necessity to specify either the person or the facility to be tapped, this is for all practical purposes a general grant of authority to wiretap anyone and anywhere the government wants. There are almost no limits to this authority and the requirement that the government name a, and no requirement that the government name a specific target. This is very akin to the old British General Writs of Assistance which engendered the first colonial outrage that led to the American Revolution. Section 6001 of the Intelligence Reform and Terrorism Prevention Act of 2004, the so-called lone wolf provision, permits secret intelligence surveillance of non-U.S. persons who are not affiliated, who are conceitedly not affiliated with a foreign government organization. According to government testimony, this provision has never been used, yet it remains on the books. It's never been used because there's ample other authority to do that in any event. Surveillance of an individual is not working with a foreign government or organization is not what we normally understand as foreign intelligence. There may be many good reasons for government to keep tabs on such people, but that is no reason to suspend all our laws under the pretext that this is a foreign intelligence operation. While some have argued that each of these authorities remain necessary tools in the fight against terrorism, and that they must be extended without any modifications, others have counseled careful review and modification. Some have even urged that we allow some or all of these authorities to sunset. I believe we should not miss the opportunity to review the act in its entirety, to examine how it's working, where it has been successful, where it's failed, where it goes too far, where it may need improvement. That is the purpose of sunsets, and to extend it without that review undermines that purpose. I've also introduced the National Security Letters Reform Act, which would make vital improvements to the current law in order to better protect civil liberties while ensuring that NSLs remain a useful tool in national security investigations. I hope we can work to strike that balance in a responsible and effective manner. But the record of the abuse of the NSL authority is too great for Congress to ignore. I realize the majority of the votes to extend expired. these provisions. I hope we'll be able after this vote to examine carefully the way these provisions have been used or abused and to look at ways to reform the law in light of experience. That was the purpose of sunsets and I hope we can take advantage of that opportunity. I thank the gentleman for yielding. Now yield back the balance of my time.